Hi everybody, I'm Herrick Kimball, and I'm out here in my garden on this absolutely gorgeous October 21st day here in upstate New York. It's still, it's warm, it's, the sky is blue, it's so pleasant. And this is a day to work in the garden. I got my mail orders for my business done by 11, and I will be out here till dark. And that, and I'll be exhausted at the end of this day, and that will be a good day. So um, what I'm doing right now that I thought I would show you is I'm digging sweet potatoes. This is not in my mini beds on plastic garden. This is in the other portion of my garden. I have 30 inch wide beds that are 15 foot long. I planted one bed to sweet potatoes in the spring and I pretty much didn't do anything more with this bed. And I didn't know how these were gonna turn out but they've turned out pretty well. I've got uh, a basket here of roots and some of them are pretty nice. Uh, that's a good one. That's a good one. Uh, I've got one here that is pretty well chewed by rodents. They know good food when they find it. And uh, so I'm digging these and I have to say I have been negligent about digging these. I should have dug these before the frost came. When the frost came, it killed off the top foliage. Um, it it uh, that does something to the potatoes I believe I think I've read this and I've certainly experienced it they don't keep as well if they get frosted and I don't think the roots were frosted but the top foliage I think that makes a difference maybe some of you who have experience growing sweet potatoes can verify that or not but um, I use a fork to dig these up and I've got quite a good root right there or so it seems. Now there's some sort of, that's a good root, it's solid, but it looks like it could be better. It's got some cracks in it and stuff. This is the way gardening is. Of course, you know that if you garden, not every thing you grow comes out perfect. In fact, most things don't come out perfect. The uh, plants are kind of like people. None of them are perfect. Some are very admirable, but none are perfect. Uh, so, yeah, that was it. I got like one big potato where I planted that slip. So, that's it for this little episode. I just wanted to let you know that I'm hard at work here in my garden and I'm en thoroughly enjoying this. And we've got sweet potatoes. My wife is going to cure these. I've gone to a lot of trouble in the past to cure them, set up, you know, I like a curing shed with a heater in it. We're gonna try oven curing them or something simple because I don't have a whole lot of them. I don't wanna go to a lot of trouble. So, and my wife says she likes sweet potatoes better than white potatoes. They're butter for you. And we do buy quite a few of them through the year after uh, what I've grown is gone. So I probably should grow more of these, but, uh, but I don't. And I haven't this year and I probably won't next year. But anyway, northern grown sweet potatoes. I'll put a picture uh, here at the end of this video, you got you got to see if you haven't seen it already. I've put it on the internet before, but it's uh, an, an enormous sweet potato I grew several years ago. My first year growing sweet potatoes was was probably my best year growing sweet potatoes. Okay, that's it for this video. See you later.